Hello, chat. I hope you used your uh, Google dot internet to get here. <laughs> oh yeah, totally on purpose that I would do that twice. Ha! <laughs> no. I did that because it was funny. Twice. Totally not copied and pasted and left the twitch.vine sauce there as a gaff. Very intentional. So, um, anyway, thank you for watching, joining. This is, uh, Silent Hill. Possibly the end of Silent Hill. Someone please take these snacks away from me. So having done two hours of Spelunky earlier, let's see if I can do, um, further two hours of more video games. I almost feel like we need a minute to absorb what happened, so we had to get to the lighthouse in this nightmare world. Wait! Damn, I was too late. Mm. Yeah, you see the way um, the vision is right now? That was me a little while ago. Again, Purely from all the fucking snacks that I- I ended up just like, you know, chomping on. I had dinner, and then I was like, hey, let me have, um, more of these wine gummies, and, you know. It's like, oh, let me have a little bit more of these, um, these bacon crisps. So apparently, uh, you get the UFO ending if you're going for that. It, like, this is where it ends. I'm not really sure what to do here. What are wine gummies? Um, so watch Spelunky, I'll explain there, but they're like little gummy candies that don't taste like wine. What snacks? Watch Spelunky. <laughs> That's really the best I could say. I got a bunch of snacks from England, and I reviewed them, kind of. They're fine. They were actually re mostly really good, but there was one in particular that was like, it was like sherbet powder that was like stuck together that was pure ass. Pure ass. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oh, cutscene activation, that's good. Sybil hasn't come back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. Jenny boy! So, uh, having just seen the movie, In the Mouth of Madness, without spoiling that movie too much, because I want to recommend it, because I liked it a lot, when, um, Harry is in the nightmare world, where everything's all rusty and gross, it reminds me of how they cross over into Hobbs Knob. What's it called? Hobbs End? And everything there is just in some weird state of, like, unreality. A little bit of that. And then Vigo the Carpathian shows up, and he's like, Jenny boy! There's a body stuck to the bulkhead. It would have been cooler if he said, there's nothing special here. What did I think of the music in the movie? Some of it was pretty good. The fake Metallica song that, um, Colin and Jay were talking about when I saw the review, I, I was like, it's gonna be real cheesy, isn't it? And then, when- when you watch the movie, like, and they play it... ...the beginning and end, it's- it's actually pretty good. But, yeah, I- I like the movie a lot, overall. Some good practical effects and puppetry as well. So, even some good scum puppets. What is a scum puppet? Oh, it's like, um... ...like a meat puppet, kind of? Many at hand, oh, skeleton grand, that faces the plateau. Some belong to strangers, some to folks you know. I don't really know where I am right now. I, well, I kind of do. I mean, I'm on the dock still, but... I guess now... Now I just have to return. The lighthouse was... Not really all that fruitful, but this seems about right. If I'm gonna miss the, uh, canon ending, please let me know. Someone said, do you plan on getting the secret ending or the other ending? It's like, I've never played this game before, so I'm just... I'm at the mercy of either the chat or luck. You have one more thing you need to do, or Jeff can just kind of help me, which is fine too. Vinny, I just saw a racer head tonight. Is that where meat comes from? No, 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 no. No, meat is its own independent puppet from a commercial from years ago. 
Um, but that, that baby, the eraser head baby, is certainly meat-like. What am I doing here? I don't want to- oh god. The frame rates get real... Real crusty here, too. So am I- am I doing this... this sewer again? Oh god. I don't- I don't want to do another sewer. Yeah, looks like I have to. Could Sybil have gotten to the amusement park from here? Anxiety music. It's not a Watto voice, S similar as it may be. That's the next big funny, that's correct. That is correct. You missed the map? Oh yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. What are you doing? Shoot there, down, down, down! So they hit that hard, huh? Game is very kind to me today, chat. I did, yeah, I get hit like seven times, but the aiming... Well, I was having some difficulties. It wasn't really, um, locking on to the one below me. The, you know, the nearest threat. Maybe I had to face it, like, entirely. Probably did. Oh, cool thing here. Never mind, let's just keep running. We don't need... We don't need to worry about that thing. Uh... Vinny, you're high on sugar. Um, not, not as much as I... It was a, kind of a joke. But, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Honestly. It doesn't take much anymore. I'm not like a Capri Sun 90s kid anymore, where I could just, like... ...fucking down massive quantities of, of candy and sugar and be fine. And then just go to sleep after that, you know? But, um, definitely... I definitely ate a lot of those snacks. I didn't eat that many after, but I had a couple. And it was enough to notice, um, a distinct difference. Oh, fuck you, game. What is chasing me? Is something chasing me, or is it just music? I can't tell if the music is chasing me or what. <sighs> Welcome to Hobbler's Knob. Need to take a little bit of a, an ammo count. Yeah, not too many shotgun shells left. Some rifle, but we, we gotta stick with handgun. Wanna save the shotgun. For a little bit. It's that right? Whoa! Oh, it's those babies again. Or penguins, whatever. I sure do love seeing only three and a half feet in front of me. Though, I mean, this is, you know, if it was this dark out, this is kind of what it would be like, I guess. Johnny. Johnny boy. PlayStation struggling to render this. <laughs> it's doing its very, very best. Someone needs to install a fucking 3080 inside the PlayStation 1. Oh man, this is a great place for kids to play, you know, right on top of Rusty Metal. Rusty Metal was a cool sequel to Twisted Metal. Never got greenlit, though. Beetlejuice's Rusty Metal. Also, I would 100% recommend Beetlejuice as a good movie to watch for this spoop season. If you haven't seen it, I know most people have, but please... Please, consider... Consider Beetlejuice. Otherwise, you go to hell before you die. Please. Okay, check. I know what to do now for the ending. she missed. N normally that would be death, but... Harry's <laughs> been through worse. Oh, you really... I wasn't gonna kill her, I was just gonna shoot her a little bit. Oh man, God damn it! I wanna say two words together. And I, I don't want to overdo it, though.
but my brain is telling me to say them. Jenny boy. How did she get up there? What the hell? <laughs> oh. No, I'm not supposed to use the liquid yet. Yeah. Oh. Think about those two point blank shotgun shells directly to the chest. Chat, you want me to use the liquid at a time when I cannot use the liquid? Whoa! Kinda just shot her in the head. That looked like none of it actually got her. Imagine not knowing that you had to do this. Shit. Oh, oh fuck. It's the eraser head, baby. We were just talking about that. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Talk. I'll take care of you. Harry, why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. Uh, that's a pretty... She probably already knows anyway, though. Vital piece of information there, Hare. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Shoot. Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her... no matter what. Also, Sybil, are you okay? I figured you'd show. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are, what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? Mm -hmm. What? Okay. All right, the force exists. Damn. Oh, and psychic shields. Huh? What is this? It's that thing from the arrival, but instead of a sphere, it's a triangle. Cheryl, give me back my daughter. I'm a little confused. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Dahlia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? Hmm. Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Music is wh you wiling out from our spell. 
But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. Okay. Oh man, I love those early PS1 cutscenes. Like just human faces in particular were, were done really well on the PS1. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? Oh, hi, Lisa. So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. I don't know. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Been there before. Like something happened there, but I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Damn, what's that? That sound. From down there, it's coming from the basement. I could use a save point right about now. Right here. Perfect. Perfect opportunity for a soundboard moment. Wow, look at this camera angle. Holy fuck. I'm being summoned. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. I just have to wonder how much of this is happening in his head. Someone else's head? Oh. I don't know. Silent Hill does confusion very well. Oh, this is where Sam Neill uses his his crayon to draw crosses. Bird cage is locked. What's the other Sam Neill cosmic horror where he bonds with the ship? Uh, that's Event Horizon. I wouldn't even really call it cosmic horror, but it gets hellish. It's another really fun Halloween movie. The word... Feyleg is carved on the door. The dar. Old clock, there's a square hole in the center of the clock. 
the hands of the clock. It's a key. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. <laughs> it's almost a sneeze. I tried like several times. Now my eyes are tearing. Oh, feel is carved in the wood. And then something like this happens. Oh, okay. I think that might have been Snake Christ. Then it's your- it's your nightmare. Yeah, maybe. Go home. Thief. Drop dead. Well, Harry did adopt Cheryl. Maybe he's the thief. I don't know what made me think of this. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, I don't know what made me think of this, but there's a new ACDC song. The word Haggith is carved on the door. Check it out. And it sounds like every other ACDC song. I'm, I wasn't surprised by this. It's just weird thinking that these guys are like almost 70 and they're still like cranking out balls music. It's crazy. Maybe they are over 70, I'm not sure. Angus is 65. Oh, okay. Yeah, soon they're gonna have to write songs about long balls. Listen, I'm really good at destroying tension in video games. That's what I'm here for. I, based on their history of what they usually write about... You know, let's be real. Someone just said, that is humorous because testicles will hang lower as you age. Correct. You have... received the transmission of humor directly into your brainstem from mine. Cheers. Guess I can't do anything with this yet. Be perhaps another tool. Pfft. Yeah, that's not happening. Not yet, at least. There's a lot more of this game left than I, I thought. Crab is ten. Um, sheep or ram is four. Fish is zero. Scales, two. I almost hear that Tonto music. Like, for a minute, it went, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do with this puzzle. You heard it. Just a couple notes. Gets close. Knaves and, uh, knaves. Names engraved on a lithograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. How the fuck is this game to expect you to know astrology? I... I don't know. It does it. It has nothing to do with actual astrology. Okay. Um... Well, that's... Two... Zero... Four legs. It's based on legs. Ten. One, two, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say that's four. Um, appendages, perhaps. So that would be six. Just limbs in general. Eight. Oh, okay. You know, if you just... Just open your mind to what is possible. It's a lot of shots that you just took there, nurse. I'm not really sure what to do with this particular piece. Oh, here's a map. I could use that here. Oh, because, yeah, there's a square here. This is just how things are. Resident Evil and Silent Hill both have lots of interesting objects where you need holes and squ squares. <coughs> You have to put a shield next to a sword, and like, you know, sphere keys, discs, aligning shadows to open a door, that's always a favorite. It makes more sense in Silent Hill, yeah, I agree. 
It's supposed to be a, like a, a mind fuck. Exactly. It's, in Resident Evil, a lot of these places are just like crazy scientists, which also kind of makes sense, but... It's like... Alright, Dr. Wily, calm down. We'll find Dr. Wily. <laughs> Every fucking time. Ring of Contract. Vinny, are you gonna play the new Terraria update? No. Oh man, I played enough Terraria for one lifetime. I, I, uh... I'm good. There's- it's only kind of a small update anyway. I think it's one NPC and a couple bug fixes. Some minor additions to the game. Balance changes, right, right, right. It's the final update of the final update. If I'm not mistaken. Have you played Considered Starbound? I played it the day it became available. I played a lot of it. Uh, I don't love it. I wouldn't say it's a better Terraria. Maybe, you know, it got updated as I played it, and there was some stuff that was not great, that was fixed and changed, and I liked it better down the lo- uh, down the load, <laughs> down the line. But I- I don't know if it's better. I just, you know, I'm in no rush to play any more games like that. Terraria, I just did a big playthrough of, and I enjoyed it. And so, that's good for now. Uh, Warframe? I haven't played since it came to the Switch, no. I got addicted to it for a little bit, and then I just kind of put it aside. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. That wrestler dude. The light to the future. The light illuminating the darkness. I can't help but feel like I have to mimic these paintings using buttons. Um, I, I don't understand what it wants me to recreate, though. Like, maybe uh, this one makes more sense, perhaps? Like, something like this. Can't solve it yet. So I should come back here, then. Whoa, camera, please! Okay. Steel plate screwed to the wall. Oh, here's what I need to do first. There is a key. Electricity is flowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. What? Come on. Who is designing this hospital? John Hill. Distant American relative of Nobunga. Camera. I guess I'm on floor one, right? Or floor two. So what if I go to floor one now? Just give it a shot. I wonder if floor one is just that weird area I was at before. Oh wait, this is floor one. Oh, I guess there's stairs somewhere. Open door. Uh, there's probably some more, like, fuck Euclid moments happening, I don't know. The light to the future. Part is weird, there's a book in here that you can read sometimes, but sometimes you can't, and no one knows why. The fuck? This book? There's a place mark in the book. Like Claudia, perennial herb found near water. Reaches height of 10 to 15 inches, oblong leaves, white blossoms. Seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was key. They like pumping that through the fog. They got fog machines in Silent Hill. Birdcage key. Don't forget the Grim Reaper puzzle on the first floor. There, what? Grim Reaper puzzle. I guess I already forgot it. Uh oh, this is a long loading time. Save, please! I need you to save, please! The word Bethor is carved on the door. I saw this green box and for a second I got happy. I was like, oh shit, it's like 12 bombs in Spelunky. The chain is missing a link. Dagger of Melchior. Take it. Is this is- this is what is used to defeat the Mammon machine, chat? God, no. Wait, what? Oh, I see. That's why you guys wanted me to save. 
<laughs> Wait, what? Chat, did I know I saved, right? You watched me save. You didn't actually save. You pressed no? No, it's too late to rewind now, but I don't even know if there is a rewind enabled at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. That that was lame. I probably didn't save. Oh. Oh, no. You lost, like, five seconds of progress? Well, what, what did I have to do? I had to get the key, right? For the birdcage. Same spot. What if I told you I don't remember where the key is? That was the third floor, right? But the elevator doesn't appear to be working now. Why are they in here? What? I guess this is the... Do I not have the camera? Nope, don't have the camera either. Fuck that! The fridge of... Of poop! Your fault for not saving. I, mate, I went into the room, I tried to press the save button. Someone in chat said, I checked the VOD and he hit no. I'll try to load. Yeah, I mean, it happens, but this is just a lame place for it to happen. Yeah, that's my furthest save. I guess I would have figured there would be an autosave, too. Well, that, that was the quick load. The previous one. Alright, listen. It, it, it just... Gotta do some puzzles again. <laughs> God damn it. Taking out my aggression on ghouls. Probably missed, like, ammo or something. I don't, I don't know. So we know that this is here. It's not where the camera is. Vinny, you can't pick up that key. That key is electrified. This is what I needed. Chat room. Chat room, please. Yep. Yeah, when I call the chat by their full name, you know... You know you're in trouble. No? Maybe I did the L backwards. The shape of the L on the forehead. Oh, oh, this was, this was wrong. This fucking guy has referenced the Shrek song. Holy shit, I cannot believe this fucking guy make me laugh too much. I got fucking shit. You know, I don't like this guy that much, but I continue to watch. <laughs> Again, nondescript accent. Just whoever this man is, I don't know. I don't know. Reluctant Russian viewer. I mean, it's vaguely Russian. Don't know, really fully. S Slav? Sure. Right, here we go, now we can save. Go back, don't save. It sounds like when Brendan Fraser had to speak Russian for a movie once. Did he? What movie was that? Don't save, it'll be funnier. It's not worth the funnies. Bedazzled remake, the one with Elizabeth Hurley. Okay, now we have a save. That's so weird that I would skip that, having done it like a dozen times. Floor 2 still has the key items you need. Didn't, no, didn't I do, um... Oh, the, the ring, right? Which I can use to reconstruct the chain link. I save again. They'll possess them to guard. Thy spirit, evoke five rites, unveil, unveil thy fate. Okay. Symbolic that this is in the child's room. Old fairy tales, picture books and animals, of animals and plants on the shelf. Hm. Okay, now this is the Mouth of Madness room. Instead of crosses, it's all eyes and, and I guess, onks and stuff. Weird. The floors and walls are covered with graffiti. Yeah, this is... I, I wonder if this is a direct reference to that. Maybe not, but I like that. That's cool. Can't help but make the comparisons, considering I just watched the movie yesterday, so... There's other movies with that sort of trope as well. I mean, 
Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. What's his name? Um, did it? Uh, did it? What, what did he? What was his name? Hard time. John Hurt. John Hurt's character. <laughs> 